Hi, welcome to Proud Fertility. Um, we're just doing a little check-in. I'm Nathan Chan, the Managing Director of Proud Fertility, and it is 99 days until the baby is due. <laughs> not my baby. Not yours either. Not mine. <laughs> so how old many weeks pregnant are you, and who are you first of all? I'm a proud surrogate, and I will be 26 weeks tomorrow. 26 weeks. So how did you come up with this 99 days left thing? You have an app or something? or? No, my IP sent me yesterday. I'm 100 days until due date. 100 days till due date. Okay, yes. cool. So that's where really your status. First of all, why be a surrogate? Why did you become a surrogate? I think everybody should have the chance to have a baby. Yeah. And watching Dr. Phil and crying over everybody who's been trying, and they've been... They lost a chance many times, and I'm like, I'm gonna do that one day. When, when did you watch these Dr. Phil episodes? Oh, jeez, like over 10 years ago. Thank you, Dr. Phil, for inspiring this proud surrogate. So, um, okay, thank you for that. You know, I have some really cool questions for you. So, what's been the hardest part about being a surrogate um, on your journey so far? The beginning was the medication. I was just tired. Now it's baby is so low. So low by the end of the Can we see? Can we see? Stand up, stand up. Oh, Jesus. Oh, are you okay? Are you? There is a big bump there. A big bump. 99 days, you're coming out. <laughs> um, now, though, walking around more, he feels like it's, it's going to come off. Okay. And so when you said medications, like what, what, what do you mean by medications were difficult? Oh, the needles. Needles? Who did them? My friend. I can't do them. And where do you do these needles? Like I did them in my arm. Arm? Um, yeah. Not the bum? No. No, I like to sit on my bum. Okay, so you did needles in your arm? Yes. Is that from Dr. Phil as well? No, that was from the <laughs> clinic. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, you spoke about your intended parents. So IPs are intended parents. So they told you you're 100 days away from, from the due date. So what's your relationship like with your intended parents? Are they local, international? No. Like, yeah. They're, they're international. I like them. We get along great. I like when they come, and I kind of miss them when they're gone. Kind of miss them. No, I do, I do miss them. Then, I don't know. They just kind of feel like part of the family when they're here, because, like, my youngest, she likes them, and then... How many kids do you have I yourself? have four. You have four, four kids and a grandson. Own. Okay. So what do, you, like, what do you mean, like, you... Do you feel like you miss them when they're gone, because they're so far away? Like, does yeah. that make a difference? I just want them to be so involved in the pregnancy like they are like I hear from them every couple days or whatever they've been here for the ultrasounds and stuff but I don't know because I figure it's their baby they should be here okay, okay. so intended parents um, your intended parents are international so they actually came here and met you before and how many times did they come or they came for transfer they were here for four or five days okay so they were here for that and then they came for the 20 week ultrasound and then they were again for five days. Okay, so you've seen them before. It's not like you've yeah, never no. spoken to them or never no. seen them. Okay, cool, cool. So about these, um, the funniest part about your journey. Is there, are there funny parts? Like doing this video with me? <laughs> yeah. No, I would say the funniest part was when transfer day. <laughs> so what do you mean by transfer day? So you made, you've made done these hormones, and then that's the day when you have the embryo? Yeah, that's in? Yes. What do you mean? For the viewers, what do you mean? Transfer you, day is when... You have your transfer, the embryo goes in. <laughs> into your uterus, into your nice fluffy uterus with a, with a good lining, right, uterine yes. lining. Okay, yeah. so then what happened there? What's so funny about it? Oh, well you have to drink water. You need a full water. Well, it was full all right, and then of course you're lying on the table and they're getting you ready and I had to pee. I had four babies. And I kept telling the doctor, you better hurry up. I'm going to pee on you. And I almost peed on him. <laughs> you didn't. I didn't. Okay. No, no, no. But close. Watch out, guys. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. They actually, I kept squeezing my hand because I'm like, I gotta go pee. I gotta go pee. And uh, so after we were done, one of the, the IPs asked if it hurt because I was squeezing my hand. I'm like, oh no, it didn't hurt. It was fine. I just had to go. Pee. Oh, so when you say your intended parents came, they came for the transfer. Were yes. they inside the room? Yeah. And Oh, wow. They okay. were there, and so was my husband. So you had three other men inside the room with you? Yep. Okay, well, uh, so who are your intended parents? Also, like a, a gay couple, a single person, a heterosexual They're couple? They're a gay couple. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Last question, we get this all the time to Proud Fertility. Like, aren't you scared of being attached to this child that you're growing? And 
How can you do such a thing to give away this baby? I am so done raising kids. I'm so done raising <laughs> kids. I didn't mind being pregnant. I don't mind delivery. I don't want to raise another one. Okay. Not at all. My oldest is 23. My youngest is four. <laughs> I'm done. I so know. this is definitely not yours. No. Nope. I, there's no, I don't know. Like I'm, I don't know. Do you not feel connected with a baby or what do you mean you just don't, you don't have this attachment? I don't have an attachment because I know it's not mine. Like I try, like even, I don't know, when people ask and stuff, I say it's not mine. You know, it's, it's moving away and which is fine. Like I'm no after babies here, I get updates and stuff with, and I'm cool with that. I would be the great auntie that lives, you know, so far away and. Mm. Are you going to keep in touch with the yes. baby or the parents? Yes. H how do you envision that? Because we don't know necessarily how life happens. And Well, I know in the beginning they're going to be busy. I know I'm not going to get updates. I know I'm not like right away because of course you're trying to settle into your new life. You're trying to, you know, figure out this baby. Is this the, is, this, is your intended parents already parents or is no. this their first child? This is their first child. Okay. So they're, they, it's a learning curve coming up. Oh, 100%. Yeah. So I don't plan on getting emails or text messages right away, which is fine. I want to heal. I want to get back to my own life with my kids and stuff, but we will keep it updated. Okay? Last tip. For anyone out there, if they were considering being a surrogate, or maybe they are on their journey, do you have any um, advice or tips from them and something that you've learned? Anything you want to share at the end? I don't know. What if there was a person that said, you know, I'm thinking about being a surrogate. Should I really do it? What would you say to them? I'd do it. <laughs> I would. It, like, if you know for sure you're done having your children, like your own kids, go for it. It's the greatest gift ever. You know, like I see my IPs and like, at the 20 week culture on, they're crying. And I'm like, oh. I feel like you're going to look great too. Oh, I probably oh. would. I probably would. But it, it's great because then it's like their baby. Mm. You know, it's... It's, it's really sad because I know both of us, we've heard comments from whether it's about you or different journeys. Like you're not a heartless person. You're actually doing this just to make sure you give this. And yet it's, it's really ridiculous all these new, uh, mean comments out there oh, about yeah. surrogates, how you're so heartless. And what's interesting about talking to you today is that you're very practical and you really are sure of yourself and where you are in your journey. And I'm so glad that you're able to share with us and give us some of your funny parts and one last shout out to dr phil thank you for inspiring this proud surrogate to doing this amazing thing so thank you so much for joining proud fertility egg donation surrogacy canada today